Hey man, glad you can make it. What is so important you made me take three flights, a train ride, and a six-hour car drive to come here? I bought a space center! What? How? And why? Well, I invested in some cryptos, bought good stock, and did a rug pull. A rug pull? Then I bought this old Soviet decommissioned space center and we're sprucing the place up again. We're gonna bring back the old school ways of space science. I'm talking daring space flights, ambitious missions, revolutionary science, and a complete disregard for- Oh, wait, scratch that. Wait, what? So, how about a tour? We have a space mobile! It's a golf cart. No, it's a space mobile. All right. Here, put this on. First stop, research and development. What was that you mentioned before about the rug pull? Oh, it's nothing. Just a bunch of happy coincidences that led to this sprout of greatness. Doesn't sound like you made your money in a shady way at all. All legitimate. <laughs> This is the Dream Factory. Here is where we take the most daring and jarring ideas and birth them into the realm of reality. Where playing God is encouraged, where the word impossible is non-existent, where the laws of physics do not apply- Wait, nope, that's literally quite impossible. Anyway, all spearheaded by our top scientist, Ufa! Grüße, Herr Direktor. Ja, welcome to das Forschung und Development Department. Here we can work on things that matter without all the paperwork to get through, unlike those Americans at NASA with failure is not an option. Here we like to encourage failure. That doesn't sound safe. Nor smart. A little naive one. Um, I'm not that little. Failure is part of life. Here we fail and we learn, we learn and we fail. I think you mean learn and live and live and learn? Now through this incident we know that the space capsule can slow down very efficiently through the atmosphere. And that we need a strong amount. Interesting, no? The Germans have a funny way. I mean... Next stop, the VAB. The what? Vehicle Assembly Building. Wait, isn't this where we started? Yeah, I kinda had a whole tour thing planned out for this, and it just happened to fall after the R&D. Bear with me. Here is where the monumental gargantuan rocket shall be built! So a rocket would fit in here? It's 50,000 cubic meters, so yes. Yes, a rocket would fit in here. Well, you don't have to be a dick about it. Next stop, engineering! Welcome to the heart of innovation, the realm where chaos dances with ingenuity. Behold the engineering department! You see, engineering is not merely about numbers and equations, it's about being bold and thinking outside the box, not letting some pesky laws hold you back. Observe as our engineers will test our new codes and engine. Oh my god, what was that? It smelled like bacon! Yeah, that was actually, um, pretty bad. <sighs> I think I'm gonna be sick. No time for that. Next stop, Capcom. From here, we will be running the missions, receiving data, and plotting maneuvers. We will be Apollo 13 the shit out of these missions! Why 13 of all the Apollo- y you know, I just forget to ask. Next stop, Logistics. Or, The Offices. Well, logistics are there, but it's the office. It's the offices. Next stop, the offices. Here is where the brains of this operation is. Within these offices, we will be running this space center and bringing back space flight testing to its glory days. Now that this program is nearing completion, all I'm missing is a deputy director. Where will you find someone crazy enough to fill that position? I'm looking at him. 
Eh, I'm in. I knew I could count on you. Together we will shoot for the stars. Or first we need to get an operational vehicle into orbit, but after that we will shoot for the stars. Or the moon first. But then the... Oh, wait, no. More likely planets, maybe another moon. Not Mars, though. That's been overdone. But after that, we will shoot for the stars. Oh, gotta take this. 